This is a game that I saw a few people play. I only saw the first like 10-15 minutes of the game, and I thought this is an awesome game. I have to try it. So here I am. Don't know why I would say continue. I don't have a game yet. Dad? Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something... something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures Why around the world. Why does this dad have an American accent, day, but his daughter has like a British accent? I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see, see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. Hmm, pictures. Barney on the Rio bus? Do not forget, turn off turbine, oven, reactor, and lights. Seems normal. Hmm. Curious. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. So now where do I go? Oh, there's another room. This is all very small. I had visited Whoa. Uncle Fred's house countless of times. This? But in the locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. Well, what do you know? The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things. But, as I said, I was a curious child. Indeed I was. Pull the lever, crunk! Sorry, wrong movie. But, well, I'm being sucked in. I can't stop it. Oh dear. Hey, look, the game crashed. Um, okay. Uno momento. Does that mean I have to do all that all over again? Okay, so alt-tabbing out of the game crashes it. Good to know. 
Oh, maybe it's saved. Oh, okay. I guess it did save. Awesome. I landed with a crash, but thanks to the suit I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me, but back then, I didn't care so much about where I was going, or how I would get home. The suit protected me from falls on the ground, but not in water. I couldn't swim with this thing on. Best be careful. Oh, okay. I was sure that someone had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who, where were they now? Windows noises for days. Charge the suit and release while sprinting. Oops, I don't think I did that right. Geronimo! Okay, let's try. Charge the suit and release while sprinting to power. Ah, I got it. I found a strange gizmo. Some sort of measuring tool that Fred must have built. It seemed to be done measuring though, so I took the results to give to Fred. How did you know Fred had been there? Well, I found a small campsite where Fred must have slept before going further into the caves. I knew it was him because the place was littered with empty packages of his favorite hiking foods. Canned soups, tube food, and instant noodles. Tube food? That sounds gross. Oh well, it is. it's not that bad. One winter, Uncle Fred and I went hiking into the mountains and we were surprised by a blizzard. We were stuck in a small cabin for two days. And all we ate was tube food and cold yeah, canned goulash as well. Your grandmother was worried sick, but I thought it was all very exciting. Oh, I just barely got it. Now where do I go? Down there, I guess? Oh, that's what keeps making those noises. My Xbox controller wants to play the game for me. There we go. Maybe that'll stop the noises. The power core I found activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my uncle. Hmm, okay. Okay, so I can grapple with that. grappling device left stop, a sort stop. of okay. symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave, and I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. Stop, stop. Okay. Um. 
<laughs> oh, Geronimo. Got that one. And this one is going to be a little more fun. Yeah, stop. Ah, got it. It's down there, I wonder. Oh, it's another one of those things. Jump and grapple. Oh, I see. Oops, wrong button. Okay. The adventure suit was fantastic. By combining a power leap with a grapple, I could fly long distances through the air at great Almost speed. Almost lost that one too. Don't need no stinking grapple for that one. Oops. Ah, I missed it. Oh, oops, oops, um, help. Um, oh, maybe I'm s supposed to just jump. T nope, that's not going to work either. Oh, I have a love-hate relationship with these kind of games, as you can probably already tell. Oh, what if I just jumped all the way and grabbed that? Oops, nope. for the face palms, people. Oh, well that was easy enough. I feel stupid. Now can I grab that? Not quite. Aha. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's all I need. Six Flags. Taxi. Okay. Here goes nothing. Yeah, I got this. No problem. This game is so weird. Um, okay, I see that thing. 
Oh, do I have to... Th Ooh. Oh, there's something down there, too. Okay. There's the rotating rock thing. times before landing. Seems like it might be useful. Oops. Definitely useful. Indicates how many grapples. Oh, so do I get three eventually? Let's see if I can bypass that first one. Nope! And there. Ah, oh, I hit my head. This one looks tricky. Um, okay, so then I think that one. Yep. And then I kinda swing on to here. Please? Yes. Thingies. Did you ever see any of Fred's experiments yourself? Yes. I actually helped him collect samples for his research sometimes. To learn about them? That's right. We found all sorts of things. One time, we went to the forest and found a small pool of water that was full of eggs. Eggs? Were there chickens in the forest? No, not chicken eggs. These were small and jelly-like. Hundreds of them. Fred told me that they were frog eggs. He was in for a surprise, though. Guess what happened? What? What happened? Well, Missed it. we took some eggs back home, and one day, Fred woke up with bites all over his body. Oops. Turns what out, happened? it wasn't frog eggs after all. It was mosquito eggs. just let eggs. me go. Ah, oh, poor Fred. I know. He did find real frog eggs eventually. He told me that they were very, very special, but I don't know what happened to them. Oh, I 
I just missed it. This game is so annoying. Okay, I think I need it to go a little farther, like right there. Come on! Nope. Nope. Didn't work. I see what I have to do now. There's no good way to land this, so I won't. Hmm. These blue lights. Did Fred put them here? Or was somebody else here as well? A good question. From or, here. Not green, blue. Wow! You look just like Fred, but smaller. And with less hair on your face. <laughs> she knew Fred. She knew I Fred. told her that he was my uncle and that I was looking for him. What's an uncle? I said that he was that I had known him all my life. Really? Me too. I'll help you find him. I'm That's Madeline. Cool. The others call me Mad Maddie, sometimes. Why would I don't do know that? why, really. But you can call me Maddie. You've never been to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. I bet you can get there easily with your suit thing. So, I'll see you there. This voice acting is horrendous. I couldn't believe it. Ooh, I almost fell An off underground edge. village okay, inhabited okay. by frog people. Um, or more like salamanders. Either way, they, they walked like humans, they talked like humans. How is that possible? Yes, 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 no. Dang it. Okay, let's try this again. Ah. That's all I really wanted to do. Okay. I can do that. Like that. to here. I don't understand. Maybe that little piece of bark or something? Okay, this part makes no sense. Um... Welcome to my village. This is the Welcome town square, to and that over there is Fred's tent. I haven't seen him in a few days, though. Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows Hello, a lot ladies. of stuff. Mostly boring stuff, if you ask Shrimp. me. But it's worth a try. Before asking him, though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad. Unless you have to stay for too long. 
When you're done, go to the island with the windmill, and you'll see Samuel's Cove from there. Island I'll with go the on ahead mill. and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. He's Later. not much for surprises. I thank Madeline and agreed to meet her later. It was strange. Hmm. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like it was perfectly normal? Leaving marks everywhere I go. Oh, they go away. Scarecrow. Campfire. Oop, nope, nothing there. It looked like most of the shacks in the village were built out of trash. Trash from our world. It was, after all, a garbage disposal pad that took me here. I feel like I should go up here. For how long had Fred been gone? I'm not sure. A couple of months, I think. Less than half a year, for sure. I remembered hiking with him the summer before, but when I counted the days in his journals and from when I last saw him, it didn't make sense. Maddie said that she had known him all her life. Maybe she meant it figuratively. Well, this guy was a pig. Figure... Like, she didn't really mean it. Like, when you say you'll die if you don't get a puppy for your birthday. That's true, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course it is. Stranger in our halls. Welcome. Our name is Samuel, and we will do our best to assist you. Please Good tell us what brings you here. I told him that I was looking for my Uncle Fred. We should help. Do you know where he is? Fred left us without a word. If you aspire to find him, we can share with you a sacred crystal, a power core. Fred used their kind to power his suit. You can have it if you return our Fred to us. The crystal? Sweet! Madeline, that was inappropriate. Your help will not be necessary. The crystal is not for you to have. What? I want to help finding Fred. Why couldn't I? Please, Madeline, that is impossible. None of us may enter the chasms. It is too dangerous. 
What's the danger? If Fred can do it, so can I. I say this for your own protection, Madeline. You are forbidden from entering the chasms. Just because you're afraid of what's outside the village doesn't mean I am. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be. We apologize. It is true that we want to keep her safe. But she does not understand. Behind us is the power core. Take it, then go into the chasms. Find Fred, and if you see Madeline, take care of her. Be safe. Will do, Mr. Weird Fish Salamander Frog Person. Will do. Now where do I go? Do I continue? Go this way? I felt a little uneasy about moving so. on into the chasms. Ah. If it was too dangerous for Maddie, would it be safe enough for me? Oops. Nope, I missed that. Goodbye, cruel world. Hmm. Seems I didn't hit the button right. This game is so much facepalm. I've released it. What are you... Mm. This game hates me. And then release it. See, that's what I did last time. Yeah. Okay. Another one of the ding thingies. Is it up here? I definitely heard one. I heard one of those testing sensor things. Oh, duh. Um, okay, this looks interesting. Darkness swept over me as I left the glittering lights in the village behind me and headed for the ominous shadows of the chasms. No, no! I can do this. No, I can't. Oh, cool. It saved anyway. As I entered the chasms, it struck me how much darker it was in there. The shadows were black as ink, and although I tried not to be afraid, I couldn't help but shiver. 
Was it the darkness that frightened the villagers as well? Or was it something else? Was this game originally, like, not English? Then they just got some really bad voice actors for the game or something? Oh, the stalactites, I see. Oh, there's that first one there. Okay. Is that how I'm supposed to do it? I guess so. Oops, that missed. Come on. you came. Sorry about back there. I just get so frustrated. They cling so desperately to what they know. Won't ever do anything new. It feels better when Fred is around. But... I told Madeline I didn't mind, and I asked her what she was doing with the book. Oh, this? These writings? It's like a secret language. They are done by people who left the village long ago. They're called the Strays. But no one wants to talk about them. I started translating their language with help from a stray book that Fred found. This one says, Don't move when the eye is open, I think. I wonder what it means. Whatever. We should get going. Why don't you take me on your back? It'll be faster if you carry me. I used to piggyback on Fred all the time. Turn around and I'll hop up. <laughs> You're not going to drop me, right? Okay, let's go. Madeline climbed up on my back, and with the suit on, I could barely feel the extra weight. The winding, narrow tunnels felt like they were closing in on me. They were oddly long and twisting, almost like someone or something had dug them out. With Maddie on my back, I had to be careful not to bump her head on the ceiling. were ordinary people living in the village long ago. They disagreed with the old traditions and left to form their own village, or they were thrown out for misbehaving. The stories differ a bit. Yep, I got it. Seemingly bottomless pits loomed below us, everywhere in the cave. The further we got, the more I felt like what faint light existed down there was getting fainter. I was really glad that I wasn't alone. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Be aware of what? Toadstools? Fungus? <laughs> okay, that was creepy. What was that? I had never heard Let's a creature sounding as more. terrifying. I don't want to see that. <laughs> and I imagine it wouldn't was. be happy about visitors. No, it probably won't. I don't want to see it. Nope. 
big scary things that go bump in the night. Nope, not my favorite thing in the world. Aha, I knew there had to be something back here. See that glowing plant over there? I bet something will happen if you used your grapple on it. Told you so. in this game are so weird. It is really dark down there. This is such You're a not game. scared, are you? No, me scared. No, I'm never. Not. I'm never scared. Except of big creepy things that go boo in the night. Or in the big dark scary caves. been with my people since the first villager was born. He helped us build the village, taught us how to speak, and helps us with everything. He taught me how to read and write as well. That's how I could learn to read the writing on the walls. Open. 
Nothing could stand in our way of finding Fred. Alright, I think I'm going to end it there. That's enough wildness for me right now. Oh, another one. This one says, Welcome home. Hmm. And with that cliffhanger, I will end the stream. I will definitely continue this. Thank you for watching. See you later.